Shalom, enlightened ones. Good to see you guys. Good to be here with you. It is a beautiful day on the 29th of January. We are in Proverbs 29. I'm in the Good News Bible. You can follow with me. It says, if you get more stubborn every time you're corrected, one day you will be crushed and never recover. Show me a righteous ruler and I will show you a, a happy people. Show me a wicked, a wicked ruler, and I will show you a miserable people. If you appreciate wisdom, your parents will be proud of you. It is a foolish waste to spend money on prostitutes. When the king is concerned with justice, the nation will be strong. But when he is only concerned with money, he will ruin his country. If you flatter your friends, you set a trap for yourself. Evil people are trapped in their own sins while honest people are happy and free. A good person knows the rights of the poor, but wicked people cannot understand such things. People with no regard for others can throw whole cities into turmoil. Those who are wise keep things calm. Those who are wise keep things calm. Boy, where should we are? Yes, verse 9. When an intelligent person brings a lawsuit against a fool, the fool only laughs and becomes loud and abusive. Bloodthirsty people hate anyone who's honest, but righteous people will protect the life of such a person. Stupid people express their anger openly. But sensible people are patient and hold it back. If a ruler pays attention to false information, all his officials will be liars. Right. That's right. A poor person and his oppressor have this in common. The Lord give, gave eyes to both of them. If a king defends the rights of the poor, he will rule for a long time. Correction and discipline are good for children. If they have their own way, they will make their mothers ashamed of them. When evil people are in power, crime increases, but the righteous will live to see the downfall of such people. Discipline your children, and you can always be proud of them. They will never give you reason to be ashamed. A nation without God's guidance is a nation without order. Happy are those who keep God's law. You cannot correct servants just by talking to them. They may understand you, but they will pay no attention. There is more hope for a stupid fool than for someone who speaks without thinking. If you give your servants everything they want from childhood on, someday they will take over everything you own. People with quick temper cause a lot of quarreling and trouble. Arrogance will bring your downfall, but if you are humble, you will be respected. A thief's partner is his own worst enemy. He will be punished if he tells the truth in court, and God will curse him if he doesn't. It is dangerous to be concerned with what others think of you, but if you trust the Lord, you are safe. Everybody wants the good will of the ruler, but only from the Lord can you get justice. The righteous hate the wicked, and the wicked hate the righteous. And that word is blessed. Wow. So, there's a lot of points, a lot of things to ponder on. Remember, like Psalms 1, meditate on God's word day and night. Um, it's important um, to, to, to get the fullness of it. That's why I like to drop these uh, proverbs throughout the day or the night but this will be a gift that keeps on giving we're going to have the 31 days of proverbs challenge in the youtube playlist so in any at any given month any day that you end up on you can go back and and get your proverbs before the day start and you'll have something to meditate on from the word of god all the day long so um summing it up in in few words is rule righteously and the only way to rule righteously is to look to god rule righteously bless the lord shalom